Well, hello everyone. This is a week four update. This week on Monday, thanks to a very, very fast shipping from uh, Vault Cell that sells these BMSs at on Alibaba.com, I received these BMSs. Now, here's for comparison, here's the original BMS that I used. Now, I do have a couple updates on this. Um, I received these BMSs. I actually ordered three of them. They were about $45 cheaper than the ones from Dali, which is LifeOPO 16S 48 volt BMS. This is theirs 120 amp compared to that 150 amp BMS. It actually looks to be built pretty good with a lot of uh, uh, heat sinks on them underneath the uh, printed circuit board. Uh, here's the balancing part right here and here's the part that I believe that acts as showstopper or blocks the current from going in and going out depending if you have an over voltage or over current um, event mm, so far this one has been working real well however the first thing that I did which I find out during the week was to balance the cells so this still might be okay however compared to this one using it without balancing the cells it works so much better okay so let's look at the installation here it is installed on top of the batteries. I don't have an enclosure yet, or if I know if I'm going to keep this battery right here where it is. I installed a couple more things. I did install this um, battery monitor over here with a whole effect sensor on it. I did balance the batteries. And then here's the other one installed here. Not done yet. This side is not done yet, pretty much completely. I got another battery monitor. This one's a little bit different. This one's supposed to be uh, wireless too. I'm gonna be testing that feature out at a later date. So far it's working good. The batteries are charged and an update on the system. It works. It just works. These inverter inverters didn't have any issues during the last week. I ran a test overnight simulating the power outage since I'm still waiting for the permits on the solar panels. Works fine. Doesn't complain. Uh, I went into the menu for these inverters, changed some settings in regards to battery, uh, lowered the voltage a little bit, uh, charging voltage and a float voltage, uh, put them into the put them onto the same setting for both of these batteries, and um, I will keep updating until I get those panels installed and then we'll see how the whole system works sort of off grid once I get everything installed and ready to go. And one more thing, you can see these leads over here. Those are temp sensors. Uh, I installed one in between the batteries and one on top of the batteries. Um, where compared to this one right here, uh, I'm pretty sure that this one does have internal sensor. However, I do not know or I am not 100% sure about it. Um, I decided to keep them so I can see what can be done with them if I get additional battery packs. But however, 
the new one from Volt Cell that sells on Alibaba.com sent me this 120 amp 120 amp BMS and upon installation it really immediately works so much better than the one over there there are differences between them however there are uh, there were things that I was not doing properly too um, assumption is a mother of all F ups if you guys know what I mean so we'll see how it goes from week to week learn new thing every day thank you and I will update again